Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because we are here in Las Vegas and we are going to the Shark Reef. We're at Mandalay Bay and this is about to be absolutely awesome, but we're not here alone. In fact, see who's wandering around in the background here? It's Riley! <laughs> She's gonna be coming along with us. I'm super excited, are you excited? I'm so excited. Yes, let's go. Riley, have you ever been to anything like this in Vegas? I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Neither have I. Out of all the time that I have been in Vegas, I, I've never been here. And I'm super, super excited because this thing looks awesome. Now, a typical ticket is between $20 and $29. So if you are wanting to come here, just kind of let yourself budget for that. But um, we're going to go in. Here we go. The first enclosure that we make it into, this is the Johnston's Crocodile. They're known for their slender stouts and are lightning quick. Now, luckily for us, we have this glass that is dividing us. Otherwise, he can go very fast and we would definitely be in danger of this one. Now, around the exhibits, we're gonna find all of these different signs which explain not only what's inside, but also why it's important and why it's here. So right here we see this fish in the desert, absolutely yes. And it shows that there's this place that actually is called the Devil's Hole. The Devil's Hole is really an interesting thing that I've seen some different things about. It is just along the Nevada and California border, just a little ways outside of Vegas, and you can see it right here. And there's a specific kind of fish that they're actually protecting in this area. Oh, they have a Komodo dragon here, guys. This is considered to be the world's largest lizard. And on the little maps, you can see kind of where they're located. And so let's see what he looks like. Okay, so Riley is enjoying looking at fish. I noticed in the same enclosure, there are snakes, very big ones. I don't do snakes. You guys will have to watch Riley's channel if you want to see the snakes. I will not be showing them here, but I will show you the fish. Oh. Wow, big fish, small fish, stingrays. Oh my gosh, why have I never been here before? I normally say I'm excited, but I am beyond that right now. I am geeked out right now. This is so cool. From big, beautiful fish like this to scary ones with teeth. We're going to piranhas next, guys. Okay, so Riley and I just learned that there are no documented, zero documented actual deaths by piranha. Yeah, so that doesn't exist. I have had this unrealistic fear for quite some time, apparently, but uh, it's really cool to be able to see these. And these are actually about 10 years old. He said that they get fed every single morning and that they're actually pretty docile. However, that the typical person who is going to get bit by a piranha is going to get bit if they invade like where the nest of new little egglings are. So. Just don't go messing with wildlife. That's the moral of the story. Look guys, this is a skink. And skinks are kind of weird because they somewhat resemble a snake, but they don't at the same time. And so I don't have an issue with these. So this is the skink. And the reason why they're far less creepy is because they actually have feet. 
They can go places because they have feet, guys. Now let me explain my highly unrealistic fear of snakes. For anybody who is new to the channel and doesn't know this, I've had some bad experiences, but the main reason that I've had these bad experiences that baffles me beyond anything is snakes can go anywhere they want to at any given time without feet. I know, it's wild. But think about it this way, a snake can make it up to a really high place without feet. Why? I do not feel comfortable with this statue. Just saying, but the fear is real. The fear is real. The location here is amazing. Of course, would you expect anything less in Vegas where they just are opulent in every single way? This place is so cool. But I like that there's these signs along the way that also challenge you, not just to look at the pretty things that are around you, but also to realize that we do make an impact. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be a YouTuber, this is, this is what happens. This is what we do behind the scenes, guys. <laughs> Now again, at each one of these displays, there are different signs, but I think the one that really fascinated me the most in this one was actually the parrotfish. Oh my goodness, this thing is so cool to see. And they said that it looks like it has a distinct beak and we were easily able to find this one. So that was pretty cool.
Okay, so we went through the tunnel and it was super cool, but then we come out into this room and there's like a touch tank and some of my favorite things. There's jellyfish and there's starfish and there's stingrays, but we aren't finished yet. This place is expansive, way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, we're about to go into uh, Neptune's Fury, which appears to be a boat. Okay. Guys, inside of this sunken ship is just... What? This is so cool. So there are screens kind of throughout. I'm gonna show you what they look like. But then this room itself, it opens up into these big openings that have aquariums in them also, but there's also a seating section in here. So these are the little screens that they have kind of throughout where you can learn a little bit more about some of the fish and these actually change. It allows you long enough to look at it and then it moves on to the next one like it just did. And so these are all the things that we're gonna find in this tank. Okay, so we made it through the shark area. What do you think? It was so cool. Definitely worth coming. Definitely. And there were two sea turtles that we found, I think. Yeah, they were just chilling. You're floating along, just hanging out. But we've made it to the exit. I'm going to do a full recap with you guys after we get outside because it's a little noisy in here. But um, I'm going to leave you with a few parting images of what we just saw. And uh, I'll see you outside. Okay guys, that was the Shark Reef Aquarium here at Mandalay Bay in Vegas. I had such a good time. And I know that I didn't talk as much as I normally do and kind of talk you through what we were looking at, but I wanted the aquarium to speak for itself. It was fabulous and definitely something that I would highly suggest you guys checking out on your next trip. Oh my goodness, guys. The colors were vibrant, the fish were so amazing, and the sharks, oh. The sharks, super, super fun. Remember guys, we are not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time and places like this make it super easy. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure that you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, go check out Riley's page also. I'm gonna leave her link in the description below so you can go see those snakes and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.